Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from mid-January to mid-February. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Scorpio, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Wow, okay. So your challenge is a seven of wands, okay? Um, Aries got this as well too. So you could have a you know a moon in Aries or you could have a rising Aries or maybe you're dealing with an Aries. We're gonna clarify your challenge uh, here in the moment. And what you don't see coming is the 10 of swords in reverse, okay? All right, so your challenge, Scorpio, has a lot to do with the seven of wands energy. I feel with the seven of wands here, uh, there's something in your life that, you know, usually the seven of wands is about people picking at us and wanting our energy and wanting our attention. And it's like, leave me alone. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with the situation. We're going to find out why the seven of wands is your challenge when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the high priestess, the 10 of wands and the four of pentacles. I'm strongly getting with this combination here. I don't want to say there's regret, but there's something here that became very difficult in the past. And because a lot of you felt like you didn't know how to deal with the situation or bring it to an end or change it, you still held on to something here that became very difficult or something here that just didn't, it just didn't feel the way it was before. It started becoming hard, it started to become, excuse me, hard, difficult. And a lot of you had to go within in the past to figure out, it's like, how can I deal with this situation, this difficult situation that I'm going through, okay? Some of you went through a really difficult situation that ended really badly, and you still, till this day, um, either someone blames you or you blame yourself. That's what I'm getting here in the past. And there was a very strong spiritual awakening here in the past, okay? And we're gonna talk more about that for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the chariot, you have the judgment, and you have the queen of pentacles. So in the present moment, there's a very strong energy, Scorpio, of you moving forward. It's like, I'm moving forward. I'm gonna take action now. Now, of course, uh, in a few days, Mercury is going to be going direct. So a lot of us are going to finally feel this lift of being held back for so long. And also Mars has finally gone direct as well, which is your sub ruler in astrology. So you've gone through a really big awakening. I feel like you are the queen of pentacles. Okay. So you could have, again, you could have a rising, you know, earth sign, or you could have earth very prominently in your chart. Maybe you have a stellium. Either way, because judgment is here and you are the judgment, you are going through some sort of self-reflection, okay? And something here is gonna change. But I also am getting intuitively, you're moving on from something and you're no longer allowing something to hold you back. It's like you, you're accepting it in the present moment and that's what's leading you to move on, okay? One of the beautiful things that I see here for you in the near future is you're gonna be attracting somebody. Now, if you're single, or if you're somebody who, you know, you've been in this place of, oh, I wanna attract someone who's stable, or I wanna attract the right people to me, there's somebody here that you're gonna meet and when you meet this person, they've actually gone through a really hard time. When you meet this person, they're either going through a very difficult situation, their life is crumbling, something here is changing, but this leads to you maybe attracting a relationship or attracting somebody here who wants to have a relationship with you. That's one way I can see it happening. For others of you, there could be a breakdown in a relationship in the near future. I don't know until I clarify, but we're gonna see. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the 10 of swords in reverse. So something here that you thought was done is not completely done. Something here that you thought was gonna be very painful, it's not done, uh, it's not over. Okay, so let's clarify. Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify the seven of wands. You have the eight of cups, the world, and you have the nine of pentacles. Okay, judgment in the reverse. So your biggest challenge here is that, you know, a lot of you, again, depending on where you are at on your spiritual journey, some of you are... Um, 
some of you are having a hard time ending something, okay? Or walking away from something or disconnecting from something because your biggest challenge here is to learn how to do things on your own, to stand on your own two feet. Your biggest uh, lesson right now in your life is to become independent, is to be able to stand on your own two feet. Some of you, um, I'm just gonna say this and it's very specific, it's not gonna resonate with everyone, but some of you are running away from like credit debt or um, you know, there's something here about lending money or loaning money. And there's something emotional here. There's like an emotional energy of baggage here, okay? And your biggest challenge here is not to push these problems away because there's something here about problems. It's like one problem coming up after another, after another, after another. And Spirit is saying, it's not about you pushing these problems away or pushing these situations away, but dealing with them one time at a time, at a time, at a time. Don't try to do everything at once because it becomes emotionally overwhelming for you, okay? And this is a part of you elevating yourself and moving to the next level. A lot of us don't realize that part of us moving to the next level means that we gotta deal with our problems, we gotta deal with our issues, okay? So your challenge here is, although you wanna walk away from something that doesn't emotionally satisfy you or you, you're done with it, you need to deal with the mess first. And what that's going to do for you is it's going to lead you into this place of higher consciousness, which is the nine of pentacles, which is finally being able to be independent and self-sufficient. Okay. And this is going to be different for everyone, but you need to apply the story to your situation. So it makes sense. Okay. So that's going to be a big part of your challenge, not running away from issues or pushing them away, but dealing with them one at a time, closing them out correctly so you can emotionally disconnect from something here that's no longer serving you to move towards this place of peace. Right now in your reading, the nine of pentacles is talking to me about peace. Although it is about someone being financially independent, this is about you being in a place of peace. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing in terms of your challenge. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the 10 of wands. Something here became very difficult for you in the past. So the 10 of wands is clarified by the six of cups, the king of pentacles and the nine of cups. So in the recent past, something here that really brought a lot of satisfaction and happiness to you came to an end. This could have been you ending things with a person that you were in a relationship with, or you could have maybe wanted to end something here from your past that was very difficult. Tell me more about the four of pentacles, five of swords, five of wands and the hermit. Something here caused a conflict or there was some sort of challenging energy of, you know, a fight, an argument. Um, some, there was some, there was something here in the past about ego, like big, big, someone had a big, big ego here led to a conflict. Something here that seemed very satisfying, fun and beautiful really came to an end and it started to get you thinking. You started to think about this situation. Why did this happen to me? Why did I experience this? Why did I go through this? A lot of you don't realize that whatever happened in the past was there to humble you. It was there to put you in a place of recognizing and realizing that there's always a different way to approach situations. And I feel your whole entire reading Scorpio is about elevating yourself. It's about elevating yourself to get to the next level because a lot of you right now in the present moment, you're in this place where you're like, I'm tired of being here. I want to move on. I want to move to something better. But part of you moving on to something better is you going through that awakening, you going through that major realization. Some of you are going to get it. Others of you are not. Okay. Okay. And there's only so much that the tarot reading can do for you. But either way, something here really kind of knocked you over the head and it forced you to see what do I need to change about myself? What do I need to change about this situation? So what is the realization in the present moment with the judgment? Ten of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Six of Wands. The one thing that you're realizing in the present moment, and this is a very strong energy for everybody right now, we create and manifest our reality. A lot of you wanna be successful financially. Some of you are already successful financially. Some of you want more. Some of you want maybe a long-term commitment. Something here in your life, you want it to grow and you want it to be successful. But in order for that to happen, there's a realization. 
And the realization here is, is that you are the one that is choosing to move on. You're choosing to accept something. When I look at the queen of pentacles, I see her looking like, okay, I'll ex I'm accepting it. I'm accepting this. I'm moving on from this, you know, movement chariot. I'm moving forward. Now you're coming to some sort of realization of what you need to do in order to have this success. Cause there's something here that you want. It's like, you want success. You want this money. You want this opportunity. Tell me more about the queen of pentacles. You have the two of wands, the five of pentacles, the magician. Yeah. Page of wands in reverse. You're now realizing why something here is stagnant. During this Mercury retrograde and Mars retrograde, there's been a lot of stagnation, not only for, you know, you, but for a lot of other signs and the magicians here. So a lot of you are learning that there's a reason why a separation happened. There's a reason why, you know, you have a choice. You have a choice right now, right? Your choice is I can go in this direction or that direction. And when we talk about this direction or that direction, we're talking about you having an awakening. That means when we go through retrogrades in astrology, whether it's Mars retrograde, Venus, Mercury, whatever retrograde, it's about going within and recognizing and identifying why something here is not moving forward. And the more you do that, instead of running away from the problems and the issues and you deal with them one by one, the quicker you're going to be able to move on to something bigger and better. Okay. And that's what's happening here. Cause something here that is, that, you know, is done that needs to come to an end. That's not good for you. And yes, you know that when it comes to an end, it's going to be painful. The quicker you deal with this, instead of sweeping it under the rug, the more likely it is that you're going to be able to finally elevate to the next level. That's how it works. We cannot move to the next level unless we deal with our issues. Okay. So tower is here in the near future. We're going to talk about this. Let's talk about the tower. I feel like this tower is related to someone else. I don't feel like it's you, but it could be you. Okay. Tell me about the tower. Why is it here in the near future for Scorpio? Queen of cups, the devil, the eight of swords. This is a direct message to you. Okay. There's something toxic in the near future. You keep doing it or you keep engaging in it. Drinking, drugs, alcohol. It could be, you know, prostitution, whatever the case may be. Okay. 18 plus <laughs> this reading is 18 plus. Okay. Um, there's something here in the near future that's keeping you held back. And again, it doesn't have to be those things that I mentioned. You're the one that needs to identify what that is. Um, in the near future, there's a very strong energy of somebody coming in. Okay. I, I'm getting like a savior energy. It's like someone comes in to help you or someone comes in to help you realize what needs to change because you want to put this behind you. There's a strong energy of you becoming really emotional in the near future. And you're like, I just want to put this behind me. I don't want to be involved in this anymore. I don't want to deal with this anymore. It's like, you don't want to be stuck anymore. There's something that happened that either is going to happen or has happened. And you just want to put it behind you, but you don't know how. So who is this person that's coming in? Someone's coming in here. And I feel like this is someone that you're going to be so connected to Scorpio that you're going to feel like you're really much, very much in love with this person. Tell me more about the, wow, two of swords and the three of swords. Someone here is going to help you heal. There's some important person that's going to come into your life. Okay. Closer to next month. This person is very practical. They're very down to earth. They're very open and they're going to show you how to identify what's hurting you, what's causing you pain and how to be open again. A lot of you went through something in the past and ever since you went through this experience, you've been super closed off. You've been hurt. You haven't figured out how to get over this pain and you're almost there. You're in this place where you're like, yeah, I want to move forward. Yeah, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. And then when you try to go, there's like something that's holding you back. This person's going to come in and help you. I feel like when this person comes in and helps you, you become so enamored by this person. You really like them. There's somebody who's like a savior energy and it may even lead to a relationship. It may even lead to you and this person coming or being closer to one another. Tell me more about the two of cups, page of cups, six of swords and the ace of cups. Yeah. So this new person, I kept getting a new person. There's that ace of cups confirmation. So this person's going to help you move away from um, un unforgiving energy, holding on to trauma, holding on to pain, wanting something, but not knowing how to get there. But this person's also going to show you that what needs to come to an end is something that you're going to have to face. Okay. So what is the advice? Eight 
Ace of Cups, the Star, and the King of Cups. Wow. Your biggest piece of advice is to look to the future. Do not hold on to the past. Do not hold on to negativity. Do not hold on to believing that whatever happened in the past to you is going to happen again. Live your life. Be open to this new person that's coming in because I feel this new person that's coming in is a part of your destiny. The star is about our destiny. It's about the future and it's about our dreams and goals. And the king of cups is about you coming back to this place, Scorpio, of feeling fulfilled again, feeling happy again, not just going through the motions, but really feeling like your cup is full. And part of that is looking towards the future, planning for the future, believing in the future, envisioning the future. And I believe that if you're open to this new person, this new love that's going to come in, it's really going to lead you to getting back to this place that you've always wanted to get back to. Okay. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.